of right now. And so if we were to look back two weeks ago, you'd actually see some color on this map, but only around the Turtle Mountains to um, around the Bemidji area and all the way up to International Falls, you actually see some snowpack. So Western Central North Dakota, we are currently doing OK. Now we're wrapping up the month of January today, so I always like to pay a visit to calendar as a we got just a couple of inches of snow here. And so we started out the year with a high of 45 degrees. Then that whole week was above normal. Then we started to trim it down. We all remember where we settled for that one weekend with our daytime highs 13 degrees below zero here. Then we warmed up a little bit and just yesterday 54 degrees. We tied some records. We broke some records and uh, today Dickinson has a chance of doing so. But that leads us now for the month of January to be 1.8 degrees above normal. And that's when you combine the highs and lows for every single day, average that out uh, to the normal. And so that's where we're standing now, already above normal. Normal high stands at 24 degrees. Well, we're going to double that number in some places. So we're looking at our high in the 50s. And part of the reason here is this high pressure can be contributed to that. We see a little bit more of a milkier sky right through the Bismarck Mandan area. And then the story for us later tonight into tomorrow will be a backdoor cold front coming through. So that's partly going to be the reason why we keep trimming our temperatures down for the rest of the week, especially come tonight into tomorrow. Light winds, that's phenomenal out there. We have them just light and variable, all different directions here, but we're still going to bring it to the 40s and 50s today. 40s, I think, for the uh, northern latitudes and higher elevations where there is still a little bit of a snowpack. But we turn it towards the 20s and the overnight hours, maybe some areas of fog. In other words, it's a quiet day. Remember that backdoor cold front, it comes through tomorrow. And that's where we spew it into the 40s and 50s. Uh, and so once we go into our Friday, we'll start to introduce more clouds. And that'll actually lead to a soggier weekend as we see a pattern change in our jet stream. So as we go into our Saturday, we're going to introduce a couple of light rain showers. The higher percentage chances or the higher probabilities are in the Highway 85 corridor or on there uh, then to eastern Montana. So that goes right into our Sunday. Rain showers are still to be had over towards the west rather than central North Dakota. And that can last all the way through Monday. Now the timing too from Sunday into Monday, it could change back over to some snow here but as of right now it's really not a lot so that we're looking at in the beginning of February a rain event for the most part maybe changing over towards the tail end of that uh, once we go to Monday morning so we see that pattern change we have our upper level ridge turning turning though to the jet stream and that's why we're going to be bringing us more of an active pattern when that jet stream Krista is right on top of us so in other words though our temperatures they're really good still for January to February it's just a soggier weekend not a washout Maybe a little bit more again for Eastern Montana, but in other words, you know, it's gloomy, a little drizzly. It's gonna, it'll be a quiet weekend. So we got to enjoy the sunshine while it's here because it's gonna go away for a few days. Yeah, absolutely right. At least for the rest.